Games came in. Let's see what piece of shit games we got. Oh shit. You couldn't get any better timing than this. It's time to make that fucking faggot with the glasses play some shitty games. Wakey wakey cocksucker, we got some games for you. Check this shit out. You if I get out of this, I'm gonna castrate you with a fish hook! You're not gonna do shit. Get your fucking ass off and play some shitty games! Action Jackson here. And I'm PJ Herring. And I'm PJ Herring! Okay, so Jackson has asked me to review two more Sesame Street games and another Fisher Price game. He's an asshole sometimes. But he's holding me at gunpoint, so I don't really have a choice in the matter. I'm going to start with Fisher Price Firehouse Rescue because in this business it's best to save the worst for last. Nothing ever good comes out of Sesame Street! Ugh, Firehouse Rescue. Fuck! God, the firemen are clowns! Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking disgrace to the firemen! Okay, mission one. All you do is basically drive around this fucking maze of a neighborhood and save either humans that are in need of a fire or a cat. Look at that. Catch the cat. Come on. Look at these fucking controls. Look how specific you have to be to save a cat. As the level goes by, the mazes get a little bit harder, but here is the most annoying part of this game. Saving these people. Look how slow this is. And look at these graphics. Is that even a fire truck? And why are these fucking idiots smiling if their house is apparently on fire? What? Oh, it goes so slow. Wait, wait. Isn't that the same? Hitler Lego that we just saved from the previous house? What? Didn't I just save you people? After you save all the fucking idiots in the non-burning houses, you become a firefighter and you get to rain more and more as time goes by. Let's go to level two. In level two, it's the same thing except the mazes are just a little bit more challenging. Except you save the same people in the same non-burning houses! This is so annoying! You know, I think I know who's starting these fires. Lego Hitler. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, you sadistic fucking Lego. Anyways, you go around the house and doing the same thing. Saving the same people over and over and over! After level 2, you become a lieutenant and then move on to level 3. Here, in level 3, there's only one different thing. Your time. That's pretty much it. But what do you do? Just tell me, what do you do? Yes! If you guess saving people from a non-burning house, no fucking shit! Okay, you become a captain and you go to level four, but here's what's bullshit. In order to get in the house, you need a key. Are you fucking kidding me? You need a key to go inside a burning house to save l smiling Legos. Are you shitting me? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Why do you need a key to go save somebody? I, I, I don't understand. This is fucking ridiculous. 90% of the time, they're in the most difficult maze spots that you can think of. And you barely make it in time. But the majority of the time, I fucking die. Because it's impossible. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter. You get infinite continues. After that, you save the rest of the people on level 4 and you become chief of police. Look at that beautiful animation with that chief. I mean, he looks unbelievably realistic. Why? Why, Jackson? Why are you making me play these piece of shit games? Why are you torturing me like this? I thought we were friends! Why? Alright, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. 
We are friends. I'll make it up to you, okay? I promise, we're still friends. Sorry, you fucking cocksucker! Sesame Street, bitch! Play it again! No! I won't! No! Okay, yeah, let's do it, come on. Welcome to hell. Oh, God. We've got Letter Go Round and Ernie's Big Splash. What? Oh, God, it's a sing-along! Fuck that! Alright, we're gonna start with Letter Go Round. You know, this game is kind of just like Sesame Street ABC. Okay... Isn't this fun? Cutting my face off with a stick would be more fun than this. Okay, all you do is spin a Ferris wheeler and spell the letter. And that's pretty much it. You don't really do anything else. And, uh, you get the most awkward dance of puppets I've ever fucking seen in my life. Oh my god, look how embarrassing that shit is! How long is this shit gonna go? I just spelled the letter K. Are they really gonna make this big of a fucking deal about it? Thank God, get out of here. That shit was so annoying. It's not stopping! Fireworks? I get fireworks for spell- for just putting K on the field? What is this? Okay, I just spelled bag. And that's it. They're doing the same shit! Honestly, a challenge to anyone? A person with an IQ of 20 could figure this out! Okay, seriously, this is like the most overdramatic winning sequence I have ever fucking seen in my life. It's like as if you would do something like this! Hey, Jackson! <gasps> Do you spell? Mm. Can you spell cat? I'll try! Yeah! You did it! Okay, this shit is really, really fucking boring. All you do is spin a Ferris wheel and you just spell the fucking letters. That's it. Like, look at this. This is all you do. Wow, doesn't that look fun? This is something that nobody should play. Like, I can't even kill anybody in here. Speaking of which, where is, like, I wanna kill somebody. Oh, there's Ernie. Come here, you little fucker. Okay, Ernie's challenge. Let's see if they're actually telling the truth. You're gonna get your fucking ass kicked. You know what, Jackson? I hope you're right. It might finally make things interesting. Okay, let's time to play the other side of uh, Sesame Street, and this is Ernie's Big Splash. Wait, what the fuck? Ernie is naked. Ernie is naked! Holy shit! Okay, well, other than that, that's really disturbing, by the way. Other than that, you basically just, it's kind of just like Pipe Mania, Oops, those kind of NES games. You just build your way through and you just get to the other side. It's similar, but a little bit it's original. What the hell? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you guys get some quick little cutscenes. You know, like an alligator delivering a squeaky duck to the fucking Ernie guy. Yeah, that's totally what we want to see. How fucking disturbing is that? Those are the cutscenes. And then he just splashes himself and dances around. That's it. Fuck this game. To hell with this game! Fucking piece of shit. <sighs> NES tortilla, motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. It even tastes like shit. Alright, you stupid motherfucker! You might have had your fun with Sesame Street, but now it's time for Sesame Street Countdown, you motherfucker! 
Shut the fuck up and give me the game, you motherfucker. Okay. There's that piece of shit Dark Heart logo that we all know. High Tech Studios. This is Sesame Street Countdown. I'm going to hop in this game because that just seems a lot more fun. All you do is that you pick a number and you have to collect them throughout the game, either hopping or running. The top right is your is the lightning bolts that you need to collect. I know, it's fucking weird. Like right here, if you get a six in bombs, I guess, it goes up there and counts as a point. Now, you may be wondering something. There's no fucking enemies. There's no challenge to this game whatsoever. This is a really big disappointment because this game is actually probably my favorite out of all of them. But you really don't do much, you just hop and collect numbers. Mickey's Magic Numberland is better than this game by like a million because there's even enemies in this game. Like, and the top left is your health, by the way. Oh, those fucking dinosaurs remind me of Color a Dinosaur. I'm gonna pause this game for a second. What the hell? No! Oh, god damn it, I can't even pause it! Okay. That's basically all you do in this game. You collect lightning, and you just collect numbers. And that's pretty much it. There isn't even much to it. And look at that. The elephant doesn't attack you. There's even, like, the fucking penguins. Like, nothing interacts with you. There is many games, like this button masher right here that you have to do. These give you lightning points. There's also a math one. Like, yeah, that's totally what we want to fucking do is math. There's even a barrel where you have to put in sippy cups. So, those are basically your mini games. And at the end of the stage, all he does is count them extremely slowly and laughs and walks off like a dumbass. Other than that, this game is very poor to be honest. The only thing I will give credit to this game is the voices. The Count's voice is actually very clear for an NES game. Which is really shocking because this game is a piece of shit. Like a big giant pile of shit. But, that's pretty much it. Oh, and you want to know what he does at the end of the game? This. What a fucking piece of shit! This game makes me want to get run over by a bus filled with sumo wrestlers coming from the all-you-can-eat buffet! The tables have turned. Did you have fun with the games? Whoa, dude. What's up? Those games that you just made me play have ruined my life. I'm going to have nightmares for weeks. Then I'm going to make you suffer for it. They're just video games, dude. And how can I suffer? There's no more Sesame Street, nor Fisher Price. So I kind of fucked you over on that. And I'm sorry. Oh, really? Look over there. Fisher Price. I can remember? I can remember that all Fisher Price games fucking suck! Oh, there's that fucking shitty music that makes me want to kill myself. That's typical Fisher Price, thank you. Oh, and the intro was just as long? Who would have thought? Maybe you guys would have improved, but you know, mistakes happen. Look at that intro, it just takes fucking forever, huh? Man, you love pissing me off. Okay, I'm gonna play alone, and here's my name. Fits it very well. Level one, and here's what you do. You just flip images and find the right match. Hmm, what does that seem like to you? <gasps> like a puzzle that you can buy for $10 or a video game for 50? Fuck! Why is this game so slow? It's slower than a paralyzed snail! Okay, basically when you fit all the images, you get not a perfect fit, but a piece of shit. So, same thing. And what the hell is that? Fuckface, you did very well. Thank you, Fisher Price. Thank you so much. And you basically repeat the same rounds. Over and over and over. Like, look at that background. It's a vacuum cleaner. Why would I even give a fuck about solving a puzzle for a vacuum cleaner? Are you fucking kidding me? Yep, that's all you do. And the weird thing is, the score. I, I don't understand why this scoring is so weird to me. When you beat the game, you get a high score of 2300. I, 
don't understand why it does that. Thanks, Fisher Price. And look, when you beat the game, you just get more dumbass puzzles. Like, look at a cash register with pepper. Do I even give a shit? Why not see something cool, you know? And when you win, I have a great total. Gotta love that grammar, huh? You know what the biggest problem to this game is? Effort. Fisher Price put no effort into their video games whatsoever. The graphics are terrible. Everything about the everything about all of their games are slow as hell. And the gameplay isn't even fun. No kid is gonna want to come home and be like, "Hey, I just took a math test from school. I want to play some Fisher Price." No, they want to play something like Contra or Super Mario Brothers. I mean, if they really want to play a bad game, play a Sashin game for Christ's sake. That's fucking ridiculous. Nobody wants to play this shit. Nobody. Fuck this. I don't even want to play. Okay, I want to play. Okay, I guess we'll... I guess we'll play against the computer on this pile of fuck, but whatever. Uh... Who knows, maybe the computer play will be interesting. Oh. No. <gasps> Electro! You're back! The fucking dumbass from Perfect Fit is back? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at him! He's terrible! He's a dumbass! You'd think he would improve as time goes by, but no, he keeps fucking missing everything! He's an idiot! Oh my god, why is he here? <laughs> what the fuck? This guy is fucking stupid! God damn, Electro! What more can I say about this game? There isn't really much to say. It's just a boring, repetitive puzzle. I can't stand this game! Why is every Fisher Price game boring? Firehouse Rescue, I Can Remember, and Perfect Fit. The only three titles of NES games that they made. They made nothing remotely fun whatsoever! They're boring as shit! I can't fucking stand these games! How can you even enjoy these games remotely? You can go to a fucking store and pick up a puzzle book and that would be more fun to play than actually spending money on a video game to do the same thing. Nothing about this game is fun whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. It fucking sucks. It's fucking terrible. It's fucking shit. That's what you can describe about all Fisher Price games. They fucking suck. Now, the biggest question is, is this game any good? Fuck no, it's a fucking piece of fucking shit. Stay away from this game. It's got terrible graphics, terrible gameplay, terrible everything. Electro is a goddamn stupid fucking idiot that doesn't provide any challenge to you whatsoever. Neither does this game provide any fun. Fuck I can remember and fuck any Fisher Price game. Oh my god. Fuck this game. Fuck Fisher Price. Fuck Perfect Fit. Fuck I can remember. Fuck Firehouse Rescue. Fuck you. And yeah, I know. It's Sesame Street time. Fuck Sesame Street. If you want to know what a shitty game is, Sesame Street Big Birds Hide and Speak is the worst Sesame Street game I have ever played in my fucking life. This game is an abomination to the entire NES library. Nothing good comes from this game whatsoever. It's fucking terrible. You will not enjoy this game whatsoever. Watch this video with me, and I will show you why this game is a piece of shit. What the fuck? Big Bird plays with you? Okay, this is Big Bird's hide and speak. You can already tell right off the bat that this is going to be a fucking terrible game because why? The graphics are terrible. I mean, look at that. That's it? Are those floating doors? I, I mean, like, what the hell is this shit? You can tell that this game was probably very rushed. The only thing, like I said, just like the countdown, is the voicing. But the voicing in this one isn't even as good as the count. Other than that, you really don't do... You don't do much in this video game. In fact, this is all you do right here. All he does is name off those people right there, and this is what you do. You get this bird right there called Little Bird, and you find the stupid fucking names. Bird, the Count, Elmo, and then at the end, they just give you a really, really, really bad cutscene. Like, watch.
that weird bird goes and smokes a joint, and then Elmo comes out, and he does something completely fucking pointless. Like, what the fuck is this? Is he blowing a bubblegum or a balloon? Like, what is- like, we don't care, this isn't funny. Okay! Wow, so interesting. Okay, other than this dumbass scene, is it me or do I find this scene kind of creepy? Oh my god, here's my point again! Who in the fuck would play this? It's like a bunch of stupid numbers from each shitty looking character. Do you want to come home from school and play this game? Just be honest, it doesn't even matter what age you are. Nobody in their rightful mind will play this game. This is boring as shit. Absolutely fucking boring! God, these cutscenes are fucking stupid. I don't give a shit. Oh, wow, pogo stick, man. Fuck off, Grover! So the next minigame is basically the exact same as the first one, except your time to memorize everybody that's in each window, and he'll name them off, and you have to guess. Is it me, or does Big Bird look stoned off his feathery fucking ass? What do you think, Bert? Oh, and if you thought that minigame was ridiculous, look at this one. That's all you do right there is spell the letter F. And in this minigame right here, that dumbass bird asks you to spell the word nap. That's it. N-A-P. Like, that's it. What the fuck? So, when you're done spelling the word nap, Big Bird's getting really happy, goes behind the door, smokes a big-ass joint, and then you get another fucking cutscene! Look at those graphics! They're fucking terrible! That is a disgrace. That is called shit effort. Fisher Price is bad, and so is this game. These games, what, what is it with kids' games always having bad graphics? And why is it that when I press the control pad to go left, that stupid dumb shit bird goes the opposite direction? Fuck! Just when you thought this game couldn't get any worse, the final mini game is that you have to spell as many words before the sun goes down. I'm not even joking, this video is going in fast forward, and it literally felt like the sun was going down. That is how unbelievably slow this minigame is, and you spell the dumbest words ever. And the worst of all, that stupid fucking little bird goes the complete opposite directions. It only goes in a circle. It will never go any other direction. God damn it, that's fucking bullshit! How many words can you make before the sun goes down? F-U-C-K! Fuck! B-I-T-C-H! Bitch! F-A-G-G-O-T! Faggot! D-U-M-B! S-H-I-T! Dumb shit! F-U-C-K-I-N-G! F-A-G-G-O-T! Fucking faggot! S-E-S-A-M-E! S-T-R-E-E-T! S-U-C-K-S! Sesame Street SUCKS! Well, that's my kind of spelling game, but look at that! The Count's giving me a stupid little cutscene for that! You ignorant piece of shit fucking moron! And just when you think the game gets any better to piss you off, look what Big Bird asks you! Let's play again! Sesame Street games! He went through three of them! But fuck him! He's a piece of shit! This is the worst one yet! FUCK THIS GAME! You know what, PJ? Those games really weren't that bad. Really? Damn it. Of course not, you fucking idiot! They're shit! Hmm, what to do with that fucking faggot? <laughs>
This game makes me want to get run over by a bus filled with sumo wrestlers coming from the fat fuck. fuck. <laughs>